problem two. The point of this problem is to give you an idea of how to deal with square roots should they arise in the eigenvalues. So let's begin by subtracting lambda from the diagonal and then asking the computer system to compute the determinant for us, even though we could easily do it by hand. But this is quicker and the answer is lambda squared minus for lambda minus one. So that's the equation we need to solve. Simple quadratic equation. And of course the roots are two plus or minus square root. And under the square root, we have two squared plus one, square root of five. So our first eigenvalue is two minus square root of five. So we now need to subtract two minus square root of five from every diagonal entry of this matrix. And in this case, we get minus one plus square root of five. And here we will have one plus square root of five. Now it is not immediately obvious that this matrix is singular, that its columns are linearly dependent. But indeed that is the case. There are two ways to make sure of that. One is to evaluate its determinant, and of course it's the product of these two numbers, which is five minus one, four, minus four. So the determinant of this matrix is zero. That's a good sign. But we can also make sure that this number divided by this number equals this number divided by this number. Let's take a look at one of these fractions. Two divided by negative one plus square root of five can be transformed by multiplying both the top and the bottom by positive one plus square root of five. And the benefit of this multiplication is that of course we have now a number without any radicals on the bottom because it's five minus one. So in other words, it's four. And canceling two, we have one plus square root of five divided by two, which is exactly the ratio of this entry to this entry. So indeed, this column is a straight multiple of this column. And what multiple is it? Well, the easiest way, so let me do it here. The easiest way to express this multiple is to put a two here and minus this number in the second entry. One minus square root of five. And this works because this product equals two times this number plus two times opposite of that number. And of course the result is zero. And if it works for the first entry, it will also work for the second entry because the matrix is singular. So let's make sure by multiplying these two matrices and the result is zero, zero. So we are correct. And this is indeed the eigenvector corresponding to the first eigenvalue. So let's make sure of that. So let's multiply the original matrix by this vector. And if we just carry out this multiplication, we'll see a bunch of radicals and we won't be sure that the output is this value times the input. So to make sure of that, let's subtract this value, which is our first eigenvalue, times the input and evaluate this expression and make sure that the answer is zero. And it is, in fact, zero. So this product is indeed this number times the input vector. So we identified our first eigenvalue, eigenvector pair correctly. Let's move on to the second one. We'll be able to do it more quickly than the first one. Subtracting this new eigenvalue from the diagonal will yield the same matrix except with minus square root of fives here. This matrix is once again singular and we can once again put a two here and minus this number in the second entry. Let's make sure that it works, that this product is once again zero. It is. So this is our correct second eigenvector. Now we have found our two eigenvalues and eigenvectors. They had unattractive square roots, but that doesn't change the algorithm at all.
So this completes problem two.